I'm a certified Mac fanatic and always believed the hype that they never get viruses. Until mine did. After having my new MacBook Air for only about a year, I wound up getting a pretty nasty computer virus, which brought my laptop to a halt. Perhaps it was true at one point, but I found out the hard way that there's a vast difference between myth and reality, and that Macs can indeed get viruses. So I came to terms about needing to get an antivirus that could protect my Mac against malware and other online threats. And after a bunch of research, I think I found just the thing. Today we're looking at Intego, an antivirus software developed specifically for Macs. I'll walk you through its main features, pricing, and let you know how well it performed for me before touching on some of the pros and cons. So by the end of this video, you'll have a better idea of whether Intego could be the solution you've been looking for. Now, let's get into it. So if you're unfamiliar with Intego, they've actually been around since the late 90s and specialize in security software for Mac OS and iOS, providing antivirus programs, network protection, firewalls, malware protection, data loss prevention, and more. Now, while it's mainly designed for Macs, it can be installed on Windows devices, but you'll have to pay a little bit more if you want to use the software on both Mac and PC, which honestly, I'm not sure makes sense for your average dual Mac and Windows user, especially when there are plenty of good options out there that work for both and don't charge you anything extra to do so. But installation is pretty easy, as you'd expect for anything made specifically for Mac OS. Once you pick a plan and pay or start with a free 14 day trial, they'll email you a verification code and an installation link. Then from there, it takes around five or so minutes to get set up. The only small issue, and it is a minor one, is that if you opt for a few different pieces of software like antivirus, firewall, and VPN, you'll have to install them all separately, not as one large installation, but this only adds a few extra minutes and another couple of steps. So there shouldn't be any issue for the majority of users. And as you get started with Intego, you'll have three plans to choose from. First off is their most basic plan, Mac Internet Security X9, which starts at around $40 per year per Mac device. This package includes their virus barrier, antivirus, which protects your Mac against threats like spyware, ransomware, hacker tools, and other forms of malware. There's also a firewall called Net Barrier that helps protect your network from cyber attacks and hacking. Next plan up is their Mac Premium Bundle X9, which starts at just under $70 a year for one Mac and includes everything featured in their first package, plus what they call their Mac washing machine, which is a handy tool that keeps your device free of unnecessary files and duplicates to clear up space. The premium bundle also includes a content barrier, which you can use to help regulate the type of content that you or your family members can access. Lastly, there's their personal cloud backup that safeguards all your data. And after losing a bunch of my files when I got that annoying computer virus, it was a big relief to know that I could completely reboot my computer and have everything saved automatically. Then Intego's most extensive plan is their Mac Premium Bundle plus VPN at $90 a year for one Mac. And this package not only covers everything included with the Premium Bundle, but you also get access to Intego's Virtual Private Network or VPN. This takes your online security to the next level by concealing your location as you use the web while also allowing you to go around geo restrictions. So you'll be able to access specific websites or online content which might not be available in your location. Like say if you wanted to open up a US Netflix library from Europe or something like that. So if any of these features struck you and you want to try Intego for your Mac device, then you can check out the affiliate link in the description below. It won't cost you any extra, and you'll get our discount, which you wouldn't have got if you went directly to Intego's website. Now, as I searched around for services that could help me protect my Mac, I tested out a few different ones along the way. So I feel like I can say pretty confidently that while Intego might not be one of the most well-known software providers out there, it holds up against its peers and delivers on performance. At first, I found Intego's interface a little bit tricky to get used to, so it's perhaps not the most beginner-friendly, and some of the settings felt a little bit overwhelming. 
but their customer support was quick to help whenever I had questions. They walked me through everything and made it way easier. Once I got the hang of it though, managing all the scans and security settings became much easier. Their antivirus has everything you need, like PUA protection, which guards against potentially dangerous files that could sneak on through other apps you've downloaded, and a dedicated online web shield, which is basically like a firewall, but specifically for your web browser. Plus their zero day protection constantly defends against new types of viruses with Intego regularly updating their databases to keep your system secure and up to date. Now there's a lot of cool things that struck me about Intego beyond its main security features. For starters, they also have a great set of financial protection features, which can encrypt all of your financial data. Plus, Intego will also automatically prompt you to adjust your settings if it detects that you're on a public network because you're much more likely to get a virus or some kind of cyber attack when you're on one of these open public connections. Think cafes, bus stations, airports, that kind of thing. You'd be surprised at how vulnerable your system can be in those kind of settings. Plus, the VPN that comes with their premium plan is actually pretty good. It has a kill switch, a no logs policy, military grade encryption, torrent supporting, and gives you access to over 35,000 servers across 83 countries. So you shouldn't run into any slowdowns even during peak hours, and you can automatically use the VPN on 10 different devices, which means you get five bonus devices in addition to what they cover with their top antivirus plan. But as much as I've been enjoying Intego myself, it's not without its drawbacks. Let's start with the elephant in the room. If you want to cover a Windows machine in addition to any of your Apple devices, Intego is going to charge you an extra $10 to do so. But to be fair, they do market this as an antivirus that's made specifically for Mac, so it doesn't come as a huge shock that they could charge a little bit more to cover both. However, if you only use it on a Windows device and don't need dual functionality, it'll run you the same as if you were just covering a Mac. Now, if this makes you a little wary, Intego has a 14-day free trial so you can try their services without spending any cash. Plus, they also have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So to wrap things up, what I really appreciate most about Intego is its simplicity. It's got a functional, clean, and straightforward design, which covers all the essentials that I want out of an antivirus, along with some great extras, like their financial protections and VPN. It can keep your Mac virus and malware free, protecting against malicious cyber attacks, all while backing up your data. And because the bulk of Intego's scans are performed in the cloud, it's light on system resources and runs without slowing you down, which I think makes it a really solid choice to support your Mac device. And that's all for today's video. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, then give us a like and be sure to hit subscribe to see more like this in the future. As a reminder, if you're interested in getting started with Intego, you can check out the affiliate link in the description at no extra cost and get a discount that you won't find on their website. Now, as always, I enjoy hearing your thoughts. So go ahead and leave your questions and comments down below and I'll try to get back to them as fast as I can. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.